welcome to the center of things master class series i warmly welcome you to the session uh, thanks for coming and thank you for your time and today is day 1 and today is introduction to iot okay before we go to the session in detail i would like to welcome you all for this event first i would like to welcome the early comers first ashish welcome akshay welcome uh, ambarla innovation welcome cool dude welcome vishwal uh, vishwakori welcomes and shruti welcome sunil kumar welcome michael welcome Tiwanka, welcome. Uh, virtual class, welcome. Ankit Kumar, welcome. Shakshi, welcome. Ashok Kumar, welcome. Jishnu, welcome. And uh, Mani, welcome. BK Pandian, welcome. BK and uh, Nandini, welcome. Dhanasekaran, welcome. So Muhammad, welcome. So thank you for your time. Like, if I am audible, just type yes in the chat box. If I am audible, just type yes in the chat box. If I am not audible, just type no in the chat box. Okay. Before we proceed the topic, I will would like to verify uh, whether if I am audible, uh, just type yes in the chat box. I am waiting for the chat. Just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Just give me a thumbs up on the chat box. Just give me a thumbs up. Lakshmi, thank you. Lakshmi, welcome. Okay. Just give me a th thumbs up. Okay. So thank you so much. So thank you so much. Okay. So uh, first, I would like to thank the IET uh, Mumbai for their support for this program. So this po this program was sponsored by the IET, the Institution of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers, uh, which is a India's leading recognized professional society. Okay, uh, devoted for the advancement of science and technology of electronics and telecommunication and IoT. IT. Okay, so it was founded in the year 1953. So, government of India has recognized IET as a scientific and industrial research organization. Okay, and also notified. Uh, as an educational institution of national eminence. Uh, so we thank IET Mumbai for this support. So IET conducts, uh, they conduct and sponsors uh, technical meetings, uh, conferences, symposiums, and exhibitions all over India. Okay. So uh, let's go for the uh, session. So, so what you will learn on this 30 days. Okay. So this is a 30 day session. So day one, uh, we will be learning uh, introduction to IoT. Okay, introduction to IoT, where we will be covering up the basics of Internet of Things, the definitions of Internet of Things, uh, characteristics of Internet of Things, and trends which drives IoT, how artificial intelligence uh, plays a major role on Internet of Things, and uh, how, uh, like, uh, what is uh, ThingsPeak, and what is uh, Amazon Web Service, and what is Microsoft Azure platform. So, all the basics we will be covering up today under the IoT architecture and uh, what is cloud computing and what is fog computing okay so all these things will be covered up on day one uh, day two is how to choose the right embedded processor so if you have attended the embedded c master class or embedded design uh, embedded system design so we have covered this chapter on day one so how to choose this uh, embedded processor in the context for iot okay for iot and how to uh, like and what are the different types of iot communication protocols okay so day two we'll be covering up how to choose the right embedded processor because there are a lot of processors in the market you have microprocessors dsp processors and fpgas uh, how to choose uh, uh, which processor you have to choose while you design a iot product okay so that will be covering up on day two but day three uh, we will be covering up esp32 and node mcu the architecture of esp32 and node mcu uh, like what are the peripherals okay uh, so, because throughout this course, we'll be using ESP32 and ESP32 CAM. Okay, only this architecture, like uh, uh, ESP32 board and Node MCU, is the board which, which will be using this uh, throughout this series. So, we'll be covering up the basics of ESP32, how to program, and uh, how to uh, what are the peripherals available on the board, okay, and how to set up a Wi-Fi connection. All these things we will be covering up on day three, and day four we'll be covering up various IoT clouds. Okay, we'll be covering up. Uh, things speak, uh, we will be covering Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Service, what are the other platforms like Arduino Cloud, uh, uh, like Google Cloud Platform. So what are the cloud services available in the market? And what the role of analytics, what is analytics, the role of analytics on Internet of Things and the role of data science uh, in Internet of Things. So we'll be covering up. So day five, we'll be covering up sensors, various sensors for IoT. Like we'll be covering up both, both industrial sensor as well as the commercial sensors uh, for IoT. Okay, so day one to day five is, is full of theory part. Okay, so the rest 25 days will be of the article sessions. So day one to day five is of theory part, and from day six onwards, from day six to day 30 will be of practical sessions. Okay, so day six, 
we will be covering up from day 6 to day 10 we will be covering up thinkspeak platform okay thinkspeak is from the company called mathox where you can write matlab codes on the cloud so day 6 we will be sending data to thinkspeak uh, using esp32 we will be implementing a simple weather monitoring system okay day 27 uh, how to analyze iot data in thinkspeak okay day day 7 day sorry day 7 day 8 uh, how to deploy the machine learning model on the cloud we will be covering up how to Write, how to write a simple neural network on the cloud okay on day nine uh, how to use iot in agriculture okay using soil moisture sensor and on release okay day nine day 10 is implementing a smart humidity sensor okay smart hum using thinkspeak uh, matlab if triple t and open weather map okay so day six to day 10 is all of practical sessions and uh, day 11 okay day 11 to day 15 so day 11 to day 15 is introduction to iot with microsoft azure and 12 how to implement iot with microsoft azure platform creating an account so you need a credit card for this so day 13 is edge computing and analytics okay how to imp how to implement edge computing on microsoft azure platform and day 14 is how to uh, how to use computer vision and cognitive services api on microsoft azure okay these are the machine learning service which is available on api service which is available on microsoft azure platform and day 15 is implementing a weather monitoring system using Microsoft Azure and Arduino. So uh, we will be implementing weather monitoring system on uh, ThinkSpeak platform as well as on Microsoft Azure platform as well as on the Amazon Web Service. Okay. So the same project we'll be implementing on uh, all the three platforms so that you'll get an idea of uh, ThinkSpeak, Azure as well as uh, the AWS. Okay. So, uh, so is that clear till this point? Just type clear in the chat box. Is that I will go through your chat for every five minutes. If you are clear of the topic, just type clear in the topic. If you want me to repeat, just type repeat. Okay. So day 16 to day 20. Day 16 to day 20 is all about IoT projects and uh, case studies. So implementing a simple home automation using Google Assistant. Okay. So that is on day 16. Day 17. Uh, industrial IoT, how to implement industrial IoT using LoRa modules. Okay, we'll be uh, Im implementing a case study for Windmill. And day 18, uh, how to sense, how to record sensor data to Google Sheets using IFTTT uh, with Arduino and sending alerts. Okay, how to send an uh, email, how to send an SMS. Okay, and day 19 is about how to implement a real time video surveillance using ESP32 Cam and Blink app. And day 20 uh, is a to maintenance of duct fan using node mcu things pick and matlab okay so day 16 to day 20 all these are projects which you could showcase on your resume okay you could add it to your resume all these are worthy projects which you could add it to your resume so uh, from 21 to 30 is dedicated for aws okay aws uh, amazon web service so 21 introduction to aws how to create an amazon web service account and how to create policies and credentials okay so 22 uh, day 22 we will be using esp32 with aws iot sdk software development kit uh, 23 day 23 uh, we will be implementing software notification service okay sns push notifications and aws iot analytics and 24 is serverless computing like aws lambda functions uh, how to do serverless computing using aws lambda that will be covering on day 24 day 25 is htf's arduino sketch to aws iot okay so 25 and 26 how to use mongoose voice on embedded devices for aws iot and 27 how to use dynamo database all these are the dynamo database and aws quick site aws sales service all these are aws cloud services okay which we will be using on the iot platform so 28 is aws quick site and 29 is aws device shadows for multiple pubs and subs and 30 is again a weather monitoring station and graduation day okay we'll uh, the certificate uh, we'll be using the certificates on day 30 just a uh, wrap-up sessions so uh so these are the things which we'll be covering up on day 30 hope you'll have a great learning for this 30 days okay so definitely i assure you once you go through this 30 days definitely you will be a master in matlab okay if you don't know anything on internet of things after going through the 30 days definitely uh, like you'll be far far away from wh where you are now right now okay so i hope you have a great learning uh, we will uh, like uh, you can you can connect me on LinkedIn to pass any suggestions. I am open, uh, so I uh, I will reply you within 24 hours. I am very I, I actively involved on in LinkedIn. Okay, so if you are ready to learn, just type RTL in the chat box. If you are ready to learn, just type RTL in the chat box. I am ready for a chat. 
okay so thank you so much uh, thank you so much uh, uh, thank you so much for your time uh, i'll give a short introduction about pantac for uh, for 2 to 3 minutes and then we will go for the session okay so so pantac we basically uh, pantac was started in the year 2004 uh like we basically manufacture uh, microcontroller boards uh, dsp boards and fpga boards uh, we do also manufacture a lot of iot trainer kits uh, based on arm cortex m4 series and fpga uh so if you want to know more about our products and services just log on to our website pantechsolutions.net okay our vision is to help 10 million students to learn the technology in a easy way Uh, we have a lot of upcoming programs like we have upcoming programs on uh, uh, embedded driver development we have upcoming programs on self driving car for 3 days and software defined radio for 3 days so please subscribe to the channel and stay connected to our channel to get notifications of the updates so we are going to complete embedded c program within 2 days from tomorrow on so the embedded c master class is going to get closed so we have a lot of upcoming programs so if you want to learn on uh, the on embedded system design or artificial intelligence or machine learning uh, so we have a lot of courses on this free courses which is free on youtube so you could attend those sessions okay uh, about me my name is mk jeevarajan uh, like uh, i completed my bachelor degree in the year 2002 and my masters in the year 2004 okay my primary expertise is on microcontrollers i have worked on various microcontrollers Uh, starting from AT fifty one pick uh, AVR ARM architecture and MSP four thirty PSOC three. Okay, I have also worked on FPGAs, uh, Xilinx FPGAs and Altera FPGAs and uh, DSP. I have worked on uh, Blackfin uh, processors and C two thousand series and C six thousand series and Shark series. Okay, so I have worked on various image processing algorithms, deep learning algorithms. I have res- I am responsible for the research and development team in Pantac, and I have built around three hundred plus products. I have eighteen plus years of experience. Uh, uh during the 18 plus years of experience i have built around 300 plus products on embedded system design and i have worked on various algorithms so this session is about sharing my knowledge enough okay 20 you may get a waiver for one or two days i'll pin the chat okay so i have pin my linkedin link in the chat box so for internship candidates no need to fill the attendance form all you have to do is after watching the video on the portal just give complete and continue so that will mark the attendance so this program was certified by iete okay so you will get the internship certificate from iet as well as on from pantac so which is very ma- more valid so if you want to enroll for internships you could enroll for internships uh, you will also get the recorded streams okay so recorded videos st- some for some classes uh, i'll be using recorded video streaming if i am not able to present it on live or if it is a uh, hardware session so in you know, to improve the learning experience i'll be st- i will be using the recorded video streaming for lab classes a uh, ppt as a pdf format i will share you on the telegram group okay uh, telegram group and source code and projects is available only for the paid for the internship candidates and it's available only on the portal okay so i will share you the ppt uh, as a pdf format okay so uh, so why 30 days challenge okay if you are new to if you are new to pantac uh, so every program on pantac is mostly most of mostly every program is is of is for 30 days okay is for 30 days because uh, because when you follow anything for 30 days it will make it will it will form as a habit for you okay so we want to inculcate learning as a habit for you so we make this program for 30 days so you can learn uh, one hour a day for 30 days definitely like you will make self learning as a habit for you okay to you know to make self learning as a habit uh, so we have kept this 30 days challenge so for every session we will have we will dedicate one slide for the mindset okay because we strongly believe for your success uh, mindset is a very very key essential component which is not taught in our colleges okay or which not which is not taught uh, in our curriculum so uh, we want to dedicate one slide for setting your mindset okay so and the remaining slides is for skill set so this program this 30 days challenge you will have some mindset activity Uh, you just follow with me uh, do the activity what i told okay so so that uh, you so that you will also get the essence of mindset okay which is a very essential component for your success okay so so today let's start the day with a mindset lesson today so today mindset lesson is about having a definite goal okay a goal without a deadline is a dream okay you should have a you should write the goal uh, on a paper and you have to laminate that paper okay you have to you have to have a laminate laminated core and you should also have the habit of writing the goals on a spiral binding notebook on a daily basis you can write 10 goals or 20 goals that that is not a matter you can have a short term goal or a long term goal 
but once you write the goal once you write the goal you 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 identify the three goals okay you if you have if you if you have written 10 goals you just identify three goals which will give you 80% of the success so that is the wild important goal okay so that is the wild important goal identify that three goal and spend 80% uh, of the time on that on that on the three goals okay which is responsible for 80% of your success okay so i have my goal called like this uh, which is the laminated uh, which i have written this goal so that i will keep it on my wallet and uh, whenever I, whenever i see uh, like i get some ideas and get and i take actions on those ideas okay similarly so you have to write it on write your goal on a paper laminate it and have it as a goal for okay uh, and you also have the habit of writing the goal on a paper okay it may be anything like it may be like making more money or it may be uh, having a very good lifestyle or it may be uh, getting a job uh, getting a job for higher salaries okay it can be anything but please put it on the paper first okay with you should the, every goal should have a deadline else it's a dream okay so this is the mindset activity today so first decide your goal know exactly what you want put it on the paper first okay put it on the paper go through it and daily you just write the goals on daily basis okay so this is the assignment today let's go for the session if you are ready to learn just type rtl in the chat box i will go through your chat if you are ready to learn is that okay if you are ready to learn just type rtl in the chat box i'm waiting for chat i'm waiting for a chat so thank you so much uh, for your time uh, so the attendance will be at the end of the session okay the attendance will be at the end of the session uh, so uh, sometimes it may be at the middle of the session okay so so we want you to learn so uh, okay uh, so uh, don't care about the attendance okay so it will be at the end of the session please focus on learning learning first because only the learning will help you it's not about the certificates okay i'm waiting for chat just type rtl in the chat box uh, thank you uh, thank you dheeraj sumit thank you patan thank you uh, uh, rimwakas property thank you sayed abrar thank you sadam thank you segar thank you abdul thank you partha thank you ashish thank you dhanasekaran thank you and uh, makeshwar thank you uh, nikita thank you uh, smriti thank you taktivel thank you okay so thank you so much uh, thank you so much for your time so so what is internet of things okay what is internet of things we are generating data on, on daily uh, like uh, the things which uh, on daily okay so we are generating lot of data uh, in our home uh, or in our uh, uh, like uh, we are generating this data you could convert this data in a meaningful way okay you could analyze the data and you could convert this data in a meaningful way so anything which sends data to the cloud and you process the data you analyze the data and take decisions on that that is called internet of things okay uh, for example you just take your mobile phones you have uh, the accelerometer you have the accelerometer and gyroscope okay uh, which is generating data whenever you walk it records the data whenever you walk it records the it records the data locally as well as on the cloud and it converts the data to a meaningful form and it tells you how many steps you have walked and how many steps you have climbed and how many calories you have burned okay so that you could take a decision uh, like if you want to reduce the weight how many steps you have to walk on daily basis okay so uh, a data these data can be converted converted to a meaningful way okay meaningful way for example you have some elderly elderly people your phone can detect the human fall detection okay and it could locate the person by using the gps and it could send the information to the caretaker okay so this is one example for internet of things so anything which is connected to the internet and you process the data uh, which is connected to the internet you process the data take decisions is called internet of things okay you will have you will have a combination of hardware you will have a combination of software you, you can also have some mechanical parts and some sensors involved in it okay so all these are, all these are internet of things so uh, one more example for internet of things is smart home automation so whenever you reach home based on the gps value it turns on the ac okay and it it turns on the light on which is uh, it turns on the light and turns on the ac on on your favorite uh, uh, so uh, this is one example for smart uh, smart home okay so anything which which sends data to the cloud uh, analyze the data and take decisions on the data and do some activity is called internet of things okay so why do we need iot okay for example you have a patient in in your home you have a patient in your home who is under constant life support 
uh, like where you have sensors attached to the patients like ECG sensors, the pulse oximeter sensors, okay, and blood pressure sensors, uh, everything is attached and you have a patient monitoring system which, which constantly monitors the uh, patient. So whenever a critical condition occurs, it can send information to the uh, hospital, it can send information to the caretaker, it can send information to the ambulance so that the ambulance can arrive at home, okay. So whenever the patient reaches the hospital, the doctors will be aware of the patient history, okay. He will be aware of the patient history so that he could start the treatment immediately. So that's the reason like, uh, uh, that's uh, like, so you, you can reduce the manpower here, you can reduce the manpower and decision can be taken immediately, okay. So that's the reason we need IoT, okay. You can, in business, you can increase profits, okay. In agriculture, you can increase your yields, okay. In retail stores, you can increase your sales, okay. So all these uh, uh, are happen due to data, okay. Data plays a major role, okay. Data plays a major role and data is very, very powerful, very, very powerful. So data plays a major role on elections, okay. So data plays a major role on, on company sales, okay. So data is very, very important. So IoT plays a major, so data, uh, IoT is all about data handling, okay. So is that clear? Is that clear till this point? Uh, what is the definition of Internet of Things and why do we need IoT? Is that clear? Just type clear in the chat box. Is that clear? Just type, uh, just type clear in the chat box or give me a thumbs up on the chat box. I'm waiting for a chat, okay? Is that clear? The definition of IoT and the uh, need for IoT. Is that clear? Just type clear or just give me a thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up. Okay. So benefits of IoT. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, so benefits of IoT is efficient resource utilization. Okay. So whenever you are not in home, you can switch off the light. You could turn off turn off the light and turn off. You can reduce the energy. Okay. Whenever it is not in use, you can turn off. So you could save energy automatically, and you can minimize the, you can minimize the human effort. In this in case of previous example, in case of previous example for the patient monitoring systems. No need of caretaker, okay? Caretaker who is looking consistently for the patient. So you can have a machine which looks looks at the patient and it can it can decide and can take decisions and it can send alerts, okay? You can minimize the human effort and it saves time. It saves time by taking decisions at right time and you could uh, you could integrate IoT with artificial intelligence and you could uh, you could provide a human touch, okay? For example, you have personal assistant like Siri or Alexa, uh, where you can talk with them and you could place an order, okay? And uh, it also improves security because IoT has encryption and decryption so that when you send a message on the platform, on the cloud platform, uh, it's uh, it's highly secure because it has the cryptographic engine in the processors, okay? So these are all the benefits of IoT. So improved security, uh, one is you can deploy artificial intelligence intelligence like to have a human like to think like humans and to take decisions like humans and you can save time and you can minimize the human effort and you can you can use the resource efficiently okay so these are the benefits of iot uh, benefits of iot and trends driving iot uh, due to a lot of a uh, lot of cheap sensors available in the market nowadays like you can get sensors temperature sensors for uh, 50 rupees one dollar or two dollar rupees okay and cheap computing power, like uh, you can get a microcontroller for 40 rupees for $1, or uh, DSP processors for 3 or $4, okay? Uh, so cheap computing power and uh, like a lot of computation, a lot of algorithms, like a um, uh, lot of upcoming algorithms on big data. So uh, these are all the trends which drives the IoT, okay? Which can increase the profits, which can increase the efficiency of humans, okay? Which can provide new services. So these are all the trends which drives the IoT due to cheap sensors and due to cheap computing power and due to cheap cloud availability, okay? So big data uh, and you have the capability of handling big data nowadays. And uh, due to that, like you, you, the opportunity is, opportunity is in Galore, okay? So the markets, so the markets, uh, uh, so the markets driven by IoT is in smart cities. Uh, one example is smart city. Like you can see, you can see a lot of a uh, uh, lot of video cameras on the road nowadays. These camera is becoming intelligent day by day. Like it can sense the license plate recognition. Okay, it can sense the face recognition. It it can the camera can have face recognition technology. 
uh, which is connected to the cloud and check for the database, uh, check for the database, uh, whether it is crime, criminal or a normal person and uh, unusual, unusual activity monitoring on malls, on shopping malls, on railway stations, okay. So all these are markets, uh, like traffic light, intelligent traffic light, uh, air quality monitoring. So all these are markets uh, for smart cities is a market. Nowadays, cars are connected to the internet, okay. Uh, smart meters like the EB meter and the water meter is connected to the uh, is is connected to the internet and retail shops is is having you can retail shops is a big market whenever the stocks gets over like it could the IoT device can place order directly to the supplier okay and wearables to improve the healthcare like MI band and the Aura Ring okay so uh, Apple Watch all these are all these are IoT devices okay industrial in industrial IoT like machine to machine communication and smart agriculture uh, so all these are markets I have listed only few uh, if you check out our website there are nearly around 50 plus uh, 50 plus markets which is driven by IoT okay you, uh, I'll share you the blog post on, on the email uh, there are more than 50 plus markets okay so that's, that's a big market so in 2025 like nearly 50 billion devices will be connected to the internet so that's a huge market like uh, you can provide a lot of service and you could make a huge money on it okay uh, there's a company in chennai uh, which uh, which uh, which tracks the pets like the dog and cat which is doing a pet tracking uh, which is uh, the pet tracking the the market is not in india the market is in united states but the company is in chennai but still they provide service to the united states and they are making a good money on it okay for tracking of dogs and tra for tracking of cats and tracking of cows Okay, so they, they just they just track the uh, pets by using GPS. Okay, uh, so a uh, lot of things, lot of things. You just take 15 years before we have one telephone on our home. Okay, but today uh, everyone have everyone in the home has a mobile phone. Okay, so five to ten, five to six or seven, for, uh, and on average you have three mobile phones to five mobile phones on your home, on your home, which generates more and more data, and these data can be collected segregated and it, give, it can give you a meaningful information okay so google knows everything about you okay where you are going like what shops uh, what shops uh, uh, what kind of material you like what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, products you purchase and uh, uh, what kind of uh, like what kind of shops you wish it so google knows you everything okay because it's collecting data from you from every point, from uh, from your emails, it collecting data from your browsers, it, it is collecting data from your mobile phones, okay, and they are converting that to a sale, okay, and they are selling it for the customers and they are selling it for the uh, consumer, uh, uh, for uh, they are selling it for shops and for they are selling selling for the for the markets which is who is who is uh, who needed the data, okay. So these are the markets driven by IoT. So challenges, uh, challenges like uh, challenges is. Uh, it, it's a complex system because everything is integrated like you need a firmware engineer like one who writes a code on a microcontroller and you need a communication engineer like who is familiar with the LoRa technology, Bluetooth technology, Wi-Fi technology and the RF technology and you need a web a web team like a web infrastructure team who, who works on the cloud applications and you, you need a data science engineer like uh, who who has knowledge on the AI algorithms to to deploy which model will be bit, will, will fit for the IoT application. So all these expertise are required. Okay, it's not a single person who can develop the systems. You need multiple expertise to develop a system. So that is one challenge. The other challenge is the security. Whenever you go for the cloud, it's vulnerable for uh, for hacking. Okay, so you have to encrypt and decrypt the data. So every IoT system should have the encryption engine. So that's one and lack of consolidation on industry standards. That, so that is one challenge, okay? There is no single vendor solutions. Uh, so everyone, there are a lot of manufacturers, they come up with their own standards and uh, there is no single vendor standards, okay? So these are the challenges of IoT. So is that clear till this point? Just give me a thumbs up. Is that clear till this point? Uh, uh, just give me a thumbs up. Uh, so I'll go through a chat box now and if I have, if I found any questions, I will answer. So Sai Prasad is asking, what are the components need to buy? Uh, I'll I will give you the list. Like uh, mostly, if you if you purchase a ESP32 and ESP32 CAM uh, with DHT11 sensor, okay, DHT11 sensors and uh, and and the relay relay module. So this is enough. So we'll be using the same thing on uh, we'll be using the same thing on um, ThingSpeak. Uh, we'll be using the same thing on Microsoft Azure platform, and we'll be using the same thing on Amazon Web Service. Okay, I'll give you a list. Not not, not a problem. Like I'll send you a list. I'll send you a list. Okay. 
so the the second question is from visual is hacking yes uh, uh, iot like what it's vulnerable for hacking uh, so anyone can control your car okay they can can take the data from this so uh, so the embedded devices should have the capability of the cryptographic standards okay should should do some encryption and decryption so that whenever you send data to the uh, whenever you send data to the cloud the data should be encrypted okay so you have to choose a processor which has a cryptographic engineering. You cannot choose an 8051 or 8051, which does not have a, uh, and you can use it for IoT. So, uh, because when you connect anything to cloud, it is uh, it is vulnerable for hacking. So you have to choose a processor which has the which has the cryptographic capability when you design an IoT based system, embedded system design. Okay. So uh, I'll check for a few questions. Yes, uh, is the, yes, yes, there is a figure like uh, Umar, Umar Chalwa. Yes, there is a figure. I will share you this. this most of the data is taken from the, uh, uh, from, uh, from, uh, uh, from electronics for you and tech, uh, I think tech where I will share you, I will share you where I have, I will collect the data of, of like 50 million devices, like where, where the data is, I will share you that, I will share you on the upcoming sessions. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's go for the session. So coming to the IoT features. So if you are clear, just type clear in the chat box. I'm ready for chat. Just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So IoT features. Coming to the IoT features. Okay. It like you have connect, analyze, and integrate. So connect is where you connect various things to the platform, like various sensors, uh, the embedded microcontrollers will be connected on through 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 like it will have it collect from it it, it collects information it collects a, it, it from the data from the sensors okay and it will be transmitted to the analyze analyze uh, platform for uh, analyze platform through any type of medium like it may be or it may be of Zig, it may be the medium maybe of wi-fi or it may be of wireless lan or it may be of zigbee or lora or wi-fi okay the analyze platform collects the data it should be able to collect uh, multiple data, like it should be able to handle the streaming data from multiple devices. Because when you implement a smart city, you will be having 50,000 devices or 1 lakh devices, which will be sending data to the cloud. Okay, the analyze platform should be able to collect data, and it should be handled. It, it, it should be able to handle the streaming data, and build a business intelligence. Okay, build a business intelligence like uh, like a, a, a pie chart or a bar graph, which this decision, which this which this intelligence is required for taking decisions okay the integrate is the uh, feature like where uh, where the iot device can talk with the other vendors okay for example you take an example of smart fridge okay so whenever you, whenever you don't have uh, whenever you don't have a milk or any anything which is left on the fridge the, your fridge should be able to uh, identify uh, identify uh, identify the stock if the milk is not there uh, it should send the data to the cloud and the cloud should analyze the data and finally it should place the uh, order on the amazon or it should place the order on the big basket so that the milk will get delivered to the home okay so that is the integrate platform the integrate platform is to to integrate with various models uh, to improve user experience okay so uh, so the servicing the service provider the amazon should provide web hooks or uh, or web hooks or web sockets or they should provide the rest api uh, for connecting with iot devices so that it accepts the order from the IoT device, okay, and it delivers the product to the customer. Okay, so connect is where you send the data to the things to the platform. Analyze is where you analyze the data on the cloud, and integrate is where you integrate with other service providers. Okay, so these are the features. So coming to the architecture, uh, you have a three-layer architecture and a five-layer architecture. Okay, so the three-layer architecture is a, is a, is you have the perception layer, network layer, and the application layer. So in five layer architecture, the network layer is divided into transport layer and the processing layer, and you have a business layer on the top of the application layer. Okay. First, I will explain you the three layer architecture. Okay. The perception layer is like where you have the perception means it's it sends the information from the environment. Okay. So it, it, it will be done, it will be done through the sensors. It will be done through the it may be a camera or it may be a temperature sensor. It collects the information from the environment. So the network layer is responsible for transmitting this data to the application layer. The application layer is, is the analyze layer. Okay. So the, the the network layer, like it collects the information from the perception layer, and it transmits the data to the application layer via an RF network or through a wired network or a wireless network. 
the application layer is responsible for delivering the application services application specific services okay it may be a business intelligence it may be a graph or it may be uh, placing an order okay so that is that, that is the application layer so uh, if on the file layer architecture so this network layer is divided to transport layer and the processing layer so the pro the processing layer is the gateway layer okay where it's uh, processing layer is the, is is, the, is where you store the data where you store the data like database uh, the big data and uh, cloud computing all this comes under the processing layer the transport layer is is the is the layer which uh, which uses which uh, where the sensor data is transferred to the processing layer via a 3g or via a lan or via or bluetooth or rfid or nfc okay so application layer is specific whereas business layer is only of charts only of charts which uh, which management team will take care of and and it is useful for taking decisions okay the business layer application layer is connect it, it application layer connect with the service providers okay for example if you want to connect with amazon or big basket application layer is responsible for connecting with the service providers business layer just gives you the graph graph and charts which is responsible for taking decisions okay processing layer is uh, is is the layer which stores the data uh, on the cloud or on the sometimes on the cloud sometimes on the edge and it process the data uh, process the data and it uh, like and based on the algorithms or big data algorithms okay and transport layer uh, is responsible for sending the sensor data to the uh, sensor data to the processing layer perception layer the transport layer is sending the perception layer so perception layer is where you have the sensors to sense the environments okay to gather the information about the environment is the architecture is clear before i proceed is the architecture the three layer architecture is clear and the five layer architecture is clear uh, just type uh, just give me a thumbs up a thumbs up in the chat box if it is not clear just type repeat in the chat box i'll go with the majority okay so if if i see repeat uh, i will uh, if i see repeat like i'll go th i'll i'll repeat the topic if i give uh, else send me a thumbs up or clear in the chat box i'll go with the majority okay this video will be available for 3 days after that it will be removed so you can you can review the content within the three days okay okay so so i'll i'll go to, i will i will repeat the i will repeat this five years because i see a lot of repeat on the chat okay so the there are in iot architecture basically there are uh, three architecture layer and uh, th like basic uh, three architecture and there, there are three layers or three layer architecture and five layer architecture okay in three layer architecture we have perception layer which is respond the, where the sense where you will have sensors to sense and gather information from the environment and it sends the data so perception layer is just for getting data from the environment okay the network layer is responsible for sending this uh, data which is which is uh, which we receive from the perception layer to the application layer okay so the network layer will have uh, it, it it should be handled it will be it will handle uh, 3g network or it will handle the uh, wi-fi network or bluetooth uh, anything okay so the network layer should be able to handle of any kind of networks okay whereas the application layer is responsible for delivering the application service to the user okay so that's application layer is responsible for delivering the application service to the user whereas in file layer architecture you have a business layer on the top of the application layer and this network layer is divided into uh, transport layer and the processing layer okay transport layer and the processing layer so transport layer is responsible uh, transport layer uh, is uh, transport layer is responsible for getting the data from the perception layer and it transmits the data via a 3g network or a lan network or a bluetooth network to the processing layer okay so the processing layer it stores the, it is responsible for storing the data analyzing the data and do and doing some cloud uh, computing as well as big data processing everything is done on the processing layer so application layer is responsible for connecting services like user application services like connecting to other platforms to amazon uh, uh, to amazon or big basket like kind of thing and business layer is responsible for providing charts which is responsible for taking decisions okay uh, so uh, coming to the cloud computing was edge computing okay coming to cloud computing was edge computing so uh, cloud computing uh, like if if the data is processed if if uh, if the data is processed and stored in the uh, store like i will i will explain you the cloud computing with the power analogy okay power analogy like uh, when you when you go for electricity like uh, uh, like we don't produce electricity like government is producing electricity and we use the electricity and we pay for what we use okay similarly on cloud computing 
a servers like we will not have we will not own any servers we just rent the servers the server will be on the data center and the service provider uh, will provide the servers okay and these servers will be scalable will be scalable according to our demands okay so whenever the demand is low we'll be using the less computational power the less ram the less uh, bandwidth okay whenever whenever the demand goes high the demand goes high then we'll be using uh, with more rams we'll, it, the server will scale automatically then it re, it 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 it, it, uh, it uses more ram and like more uh, data uh, like more memory okay so so that type of that type is called cloud computing okay so having the uh, server having a, uh, renting a server like the server will be on the data center and it is scalable and you could pay for what you use okay so the data the data is sent to the the, the data is not processed locally the data will be sent to the cloud and the processing will be done on the cloud so that is cloud computing okay whereas edge computing or fog computing uh, data is uh, processed data is processed locally where the data is generated for example if you take an intelligent traffic light okay intelligent traffic light you have the microcontrollers okay so you have the microcontrollers on the traffic light signal uh, suddenly an ambulance arrives okay so now the traffic light the intelligent traffic in the intelligent traffic light should take a decision instead of sending the data to the cloud and waiting for the decision the microcontroller at that traffic light will take will take a, will take a decision okay locally it process the information locally and it takes the decision locally without sending the data to the cloud so this type of uh, computing is called edge computing or fog computing where the uh, decision or where the data is processed where it is generated okay so that is called fog computing or the edge computing whereas cloud computing you have to send the data to the cloud okay the the cloud the, the, the cloud is nothing but you have the server at a remote place uh, on the data center which will have the scalability okay and you will uh, and, and data will be processed on the on the server on the uh, data center and decisions will be taken there okay so that is called cloud computing whereas fog computing data is uh, processed locally on the processor on the embedded processor or a, a cpu which is where where the data is generated okay so that is called fog computing so the fog architecture you have the monitoring layer pre processing layer storage layer and security layer okay you have the monitoring layer like the the monitoring layer in the for computing like it monitors the powers required for the processors and resources and services and pre process layer it filters the data before it's sending the data to the cloud it filters the data which the data which is not at all which is not necessary it filters the data okay it sends the data which is only necessary for the processing and it stores the it, it can st it, it can st it also provides a temporary storage okay if you want you could store it on a, you can store it on a flash memory or an sd card or the local memory which is available and it also has security to encrypt the data as well as to decrypt the data okay whenever you send the data to the cloud it should be you, you do you have to encrypt the data and you have to send okay so uh, security will be provided by the fog computing okay so so monitor it will monitor and it will monitor the power resources necessary for the processor and it pre processes the data which which you want which you, which you want to send to the cloud and it you also have a temporary storage and you also have the security okay security so this is these are these are the layers in the fog computing so is that clear till this point is that clear till this point just give me a uh, just give me a thumbs up if if that is clear just give me a thumbs up okay so we will be closing the session like within another 15 minutes of time okay uh, i'll i'll go slow uh, last year is asking to teach slowly definitely i'll go slow uh, because this today session is today session like we have taken 15 minutes of time on the introduction session okay so from tomorrow session like i'll stick to the time and i'll go slow uh, and this video will also be available uh, will, will also be available on the uh, uh, portal uh, on the, for three days for YouTube three days. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Let's go for the session. Okay, so uh, before we go to the to uh, topic, I will take three minutes for giving an announcement for internships. Okay, what is the difference between uh, the YouTube as well as the uh, internship? Because there are a lot of doubts there. Okay, so I will just clarify uh, like the difference between the YouTube and the internship students okay it's free for for youtube it's free for 30 days you can attend all this 30 days and you also get the certificate uh, from pantech for attending this event and and uh, all the content like content there is no hidden content on it so everything is delivered for 30 days free for free okay so platform is on youtube and the videos from youtube will be removed after three days okay so that's that's a thing on youtube webinar so you have to learn within three days so if you check day five 
the day one session video will not be available on YouTube. So whereas on internship candidates, uh, like you have a LMS portal, we will provide you a login, like where you can access those videos, where you could download the PPTs, where you could download the source codes. Everything is available for one year. Okay, it's limited. It's you can available for one year. Apart from this, you have access to the forum. You have access to the community. Like we have, uh, we have a community like where uh, uh, we conduct programs. Like I'll show you the community. Uh, where we conduct uh, programs only for the internship candidates like these are the these are all the programs like linkedin mastery program to in, to increase your profile okay to design your own iot board uh, which, which is a hackathon session for 3 hours okay 3 hours on linkedin profile so you can attend these sessions attend the sessions on zoom platform which is more conversational okay so whereas in youtube there is no conversation it's of one way communication you cannot talk to me whereas on uh, zoom whereas the hackathon sessions and the intensive sessions are on zoom platform where you can unmute yourself and you can speak okay so that's one advantage and community is for lifetime okay and certificate uh the internship certificate will be certified by iet mumbai okay whereas this certificate is, is certified by pantac uh, but the content is is awesome i i assure you the content which you get from for the 30 days uh, the both mindset series as well as for skill set series is very very essential for you because we have spent a lot of time on creating this content so you could reduce the time you could reduce the time instead of uh, you, instead of going through a lot of videos a lot of videos on the youtube and that you can reduce your time here okay you, uh, you can by going through the curated content so that's one advantage and second thing is uh, for this launch offer uh, we are going to give three plus courses those who those who have uh, enrolled for the internships okay uh, you'll be getting an embedded system design uh, class and uh, you will be getting a PCB design master class and you'll be getting the Internet of Things master class. An embedded system design and IoT master class for 30 days, or uh, PCB design for 12 days and Internet of Things master class for 30 days. So totally 72 hours for one year validity. So so one hour per day, you could learn one hour per day. So, so totally 72 hours. So we have covered the 82 architecture for five days and pick architecture for five days and ARM 7 architecture for five days and LPC 4088 architecture for five days and node NCO architecture for five days. Okay. All these are embedded system design. So five projects are available, which you could add it to your resume. So if you want to make your career on embedded system design and internet of things, so this course will be a right fit for you. So this comes uh, free along with this internship certificate. Okay. With this internship uh, enrollment and the cost is two to plan to piece the, um, and IoT masterclass, uh, Theory for IoT, theory for five days, things speak five days, and Microsoft Azure IoT five days. You have AWS 10 days, and projects and case studies and five days, two triple nine, which comes under the concession. Okay. So PCB design masterclass, you could design your own 82 and development board. Okay. So this is from the tool is Cadence Allegro, uh, where we start from basics like how to draw the schematics, how to design your own 82 and board, and how to design your own IoT board. Okay. And how to draw the schematics, job creation bill of materials so all these are covered up in 12 days on going through this definitely you can design your own 82 board so that's for triple n rupees okay so apart from this you also have a hackathon session uh, which is on june 18th for three hour sessions on zoom only for the internship candidates uh, where we design your own iot board okay using esp32 you can design your own iot uh, board you could create the symbols you could create the pcb footprints you could do the layout and you could set the routing constraints you could create the 3d model and you could do the pcb layout and job creation okay so that is that comes free for this internship candidates and if you still not enough like uh, we have one more offer like we have uh, the recorded access of embedded c programming okay so i'll tell you like what is uh, we have the course on youtube as well as we have the course on the recorder the recorder version will get updated for every week or every month it will get updated on embedded c programming that's for 30 days. If you want to learn the basics uh, of embedded C language, if you want to start basics, you could start from this course, embedded C programming, and then you can go for embedded system design and IoT, and then you can cover this IoT masterclass, okay, PCB design. Or after that, you could cover PCB design, PCB design masterclass. So that uh, if you want to search the job on this, definitely this course will be the right fit for you, okay. So that value is triple nine rupees. So all this add together, we are going to give an offer today. So totally, you are going to get four course. Uh, four course internship, uh, four course, only one course will be certified by the, uh, by the IET, the IOT masterclass. The IOT masterclass will be certified by the IET. The other three courses will be certified by Pantac. Okay. You'll get all this four course offer for triple N rupees today. Okay. So triple N rupees today. 
And first, I would like to thank the 422 registrants who booked the single internship for 1399, okay? 1399, 1399, single internship for 1399. This offer is applicable for them. I thank you so much uh, for, uh, for, uh, for having a trust on us, okay? And the balance 400 rupees will be refunded to your account within tomorrow, within tomorrow afternoon. So I'll be responsible. I will personally take responsible for that for all the 400 registrations uh, who booked the single internship course for 1399, 1399 for single internship, uh, you will get a balance of 400 rupees to your account and you will get all this four course, okay? You will get the embedded system design course, uh, you will get the PCB design course, you will get the IoT master course, you will get the embedded C master class, the validity will for one year. You will get access to the community, uh, community where you could attend the hackathon sessions, uh, you get attend the intensive sessions, for a lifetime, okay? This is for a lifetime. So you have hackathon sessions, you have entrepreneur scanner, uh, how to run Facebook ads, how to build your brands and everything. Everything is there, okay? It's how to make money, how to do affiliate marketing, everything is there on the entrepreneur scanner. So if you want to become an entrepreneur corner, you could attend the entrepreneur corner session. So that is also available, okay? So all this available for triple nine rupees. So this offer is valid only for today and tomorrow. Definitely I will close this offer tomorrow, okay? I'm not going to give this offer uh i am not going to extend the offer so i will close this offer the sing again the single internship course will be only 1399 from uh like uh uh from friday from friday i'll be closing this i'll be i'll be extending this offer only for 24 hours from today to tomorrow okay because like a lot of we have like a lot of uh, uh like a lot of suggestions like they get bounces on the payment pages okay so we are extending this offer for two days now today and tomorrow so definitely i'll close this offer within uh, next day. Okay, if you want avail to avail this offer, you could avail this offer. The link will be in the description. So this is what you get at triple nine rupees. You got one or two days of learning. Okay, you can design your own development board and lifetime community access or coaching in mindset like LinkedIn mastery, resume building, uh, as live courses. All these are live sessions on Zoom platform. And uh, you get entrepreneurs coaching on Warriors Bay Hub and you get the internship certificate from IET Mumbai. Okay, only for the IoT master class, not for all the master class only for the IoT masterclass and that that too, it will, you'll get the certificate only after 30 days, okay? Only after the completion of the course. Okay, so 200 plus HR manager on my LinkedIn network. So stay connected. Whenever you do a simple project, uh, post a project, tag me. Uh, I will reshare my uh, reshare your project on my wall, uh, which you will get notified by the 2000 plus HR managers who are available on my LinkedIn network. I have around 28,000 for uh, followers out of that 2000 or 2000 uh, uh, 2000 uh, uh, followers or the hachars okay they are the hachar manager so you just do a project and take a video and uh, uh, tag me uh, tag me on my LinkedIn wall definitely i'll reshare that i'll reshare that on my wall which which you get notification you can market yourself okay and forum support so these are the things which you get for triple nine rupees. Let's go for learning back. Okay, let's start the learning process. So we have so far we have covered. So I will take another ten more minutes, ten more minutes, and then we will complete the day today, and we will have a recap, and I will take the Q and A sessions at the end of the session. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's cover the topic. If just give me a thumbs up, uh, just give me a thumbs up. Like if uh, if 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 you're clear so far. Okay. So we have caught up the cloud computing versus edge computing. Okay. The next is the IoT taxonomy. So uh, in the IoT taxonomy, the first taxonomy is the perception, where you have sensors. You collect sensors. Uh, it, perception collects the data. Okay. The perception layer, the perception taxonomy, it collects the data using various types of sensors. The next step is the pre-processing. The pre-processing, it filters the data, which is not necessary. Okay, which is not necessary. It filters the data and it summarizes the data and it sends only the necessary information to the cloud. Okay, the communication step. The next is the communication. So once the pre-processing filters the data, it, the next step is to communication. The communication, like where it where it sends the data to the middleware. Okay, I will tell you what is middleware. So communication, it may be like it may be of different any kind of protocols, any kind of protocols, or any kind of standards. It may be RF or it may be Bluetooth or it may be Wi-Fi or Zigbee or low energy Bluetooth, low energy, or you may you may use any different types of protocols. Whatever it whatever it may be, the communication will transmit that to a middleware. Okay, so the middleware creates an abstraction. Okay. So it hides all the hardware details. What kind of microcontroller you use? What kind of microcontroller is? What kind of sensors? What kind of manufacturer? 
everything it hides and sends only the metadata metadata to the cloud to the applications okay the, the application layer application layer will get only the meta layer metadata it gets only the information which is necessary for processing for analyzing and for sending the data okay so uh, these are the taxonomy i just repeat the taxonomy the first is perception perception is nothing but just visualization like it collects the data from various sensors and it's the next step is the pre-processing step it filters the data which is not necessary okay and it summarizes the data before sent to the communication network so communication sends the data from the pre-processing to the middleware so middleware it creates abstraction because it hides the information it hides the hardware information this hardware information like what kind of sensor like uh, uh, what kind of hardware is used so uh, what kind of network what kind of protocol is used it's it's not needed for the application layer or the application needed only need it needs only the data okay it needs only the data to uh, to process for example if it is temperature sensor it needs the temperature data temperature value and it needs the date and time when it when the value has been uh, occurred so only these information are required okay it does not the application layer does not need like what whether they send it through whether, whether they send it via bluetooth or rf or zigbee it does not requires anything uh, related to protocols it does not require anything related to the hardware okay so the application layer gets the data and yet it it it, it gives you the uh, it, it gives you the application specific uh, process okay so if this is clear just type if iot taxonomy is clear just give me a thumbs up if you want me to repeat, just type repeat in the chat box. If it is not clear, uh, just type. So alternate link will be available at the end of the session. Okay. So if, if it is clear, just type thumbs up. Just give me a thumbs up. If it is not clear, just tell me repeat. Okay. Which programming language? I, I had a question from Jayant. Jayant, like which programming language is required for IoT? Uh, so for the embedded system design, like we'll be using the C language. Okay. Um, C language. Uh, JavaScript, you should have some knowledge on JavaScript, uh, uh, JavaScript is structured and some knowledge on webhooks, handling the webhooks and the REST APIs, okay. Uh, but everything is easy, okay, everything is easy. It's, uh, we are going to start it from scratch. Nothing to worry, we are going to start it from scratch. Uh, if you want to cover up the basics of, uh, basics of the C language, then we have the course, already the course is there on YouTube. Embedded C, uh, for Embedded C, we have not removed any of the courses from the YouTube because we think that's a basic one which, which you have to cover up, which, which is a very essential skill which has to, for every, every electronics engineer, so we put it, uh, we didn't remove those topics from the YouTube, okay. But still the paid content will have much more advanced than the free version, but we have a free content sitting on YouTube for Embedded C language. If you want to learn Embedded C language, you could learn that, okay. This answer is for Jayanth. So perception, uh, so the second thing is the perception. Okay, perception, uh, so these perception is, perception is uh, these are the sensors, like what are, these are the kinds of sensors. We have a day dedicated for the sensors, okay. On day five, we are going to go through all kinds of industrial sensors, where you can purchase, uh, how to download the data sheets, how to, uh, what are the protocols involved on the sensors interface, like I squared C protocol or SPA protocol, what kind of protocols are involved okay so all this will be covered up on day five uh like the type of sensors so environmental sensors medical sensors okay ecg sensors uh, uh neural sensors like eeg sensors chemical sensors okay these are the different types of sensors In mobile sensors you have magnetometer gps location sensors and camera microphone and light sensors okay these are perception and pre-processing like it should be able to uh it should be reliable and reliable in data acquisition it filters the data and it should be able to uh, able to uh, handle the scalability okay so when whenever whenever you whenever you have whenever you go for iot like you may have uh, 10000 device or 50000 device uh, if when you go for a smart city you may 10000 sensors may get connected on the uh, get get connected on the perception layer okay the pre when it comes for pre processing the pre processing should be able to handle the scalability because when you connect and it should have the scalability okay and it have the scalability and have the security and privacy and cloud services and contact station all these are middleware so applications there are more than 50 plus applications uh, i have put a few here like smart transport energy con conservation and supply chain health and fitness smart environment but uh, if you take a list there are 50 plus applications on iot that it's more still more okay because uh, every everything is pro producing data we have smart home smart tv we have uh, we have mobile phones we have laptops uh, we have the refrigerator, like everything is going to get in, get will uh, microwave oven. Everything is going to get connected to the cloud. Okay, 
uh, your lights and bulbs and everything so all electronic components electronic things in your wherever you have electronics it can be connected to the cloud so coming to the iot operating system this is from electronics for you this study is from electronics for you like linux 71.8 percent and windows 22.9 percent free autos 20.4 percent so we are we are also planning uh, for 10 days workshop on free autos okay so amazon free autos is there so these are the operating systems which is used on used for iot and uh, the role of artificial intelligence in iot okay so artificial intelligence plays a major role on internet of things so that it can provide you the human touch okay it can take decisions the iot can take decisions without without intervening the humans it can take decisions it can send alerts and even it can enable the task okay so that's a so it can learn from the data iot is uh, iot is nothing but it produces more and more data we are collecting more and more data and artificial intelligence can learn from the data and it can complete the particular task okay from the data from the data it can complete the particular task so that is the machine learning the machine can learn itself based on the data which you feed to the system so that is machine learning so ai plays a major role on internet of things okay ai plays a major role on internet of things so machine learning so coming to the clouds so things speak is from the company called mathworks you have analytic iot platform uh, like where you can collect data from sensors and you could visualize the data uh, currently, this uh, say, this thing speak is has sixty thousand. So these uh, data, which is taken from the Mathox website, uh, analyze data. Uh, it can you can integrate MATLAB and you could run a piece of uh, machine learning code. You could run a piece of neural network code or deep learning code on the cloud. You, you should have a valid license for that. You can analyze the data and you could act on the data. You could send tweets. You could send an SMS or you could send an email or you could say you could connect you could connect the web hooks okay wherever you have web hooks it can be you can connect with this thing speak so this is a platform iot platform iot cloud platform uh, so it's from a company called mathox mathox or matlab okay so aws iot aws iot is from amazon amazon uh, like aws iot stands for amazon internet of things aws services aws stands for amazon uh, services web services okay so uh, you have uh, you have the aws iot where it can be connected to any iot device it may be a bulb or it may be any microcontroller uh, aws iot is connected to the various aws services okay uh, amazon web service has a lot of cloud service you have the lambda service you have the simple notification service you have simple emailing service uh, you have the machine learning service okay amazon sage um, aws sage maker is there for machine learning so you could use any of the services with the AWS IoT platform. For example, if you want to do face recognition, you could still do with AWS IoT and AWS services. Okay. If you want to do some fault detection, then you could still do with AWS IoT. Okay. So what is AWS IoT? So you have the reason. The reason for AWS IoT is you have superior AI integration part when you compare with the ThingSpeak. You have superior AI integration here, and it's proven for scaling. For example, you, you want to handle a mass number of uh, sensors, like for small city for 50,000 sensors, then definitely like AWS can handle such kind of such kind of bandwidth. Okay, uh, it can handle uh, you, you, it can handle um, uh, 50,000 devices or one lakh devices. It's known for scaling. Okay, and you have multi-layer security. You have all kind of cryptographic algorithms, and you have superior AI integrations. Okay, so that's the reason for AWS IoT. And coming to the Microsoft Azure platform, so you have the devices. So whatever you do with AWS, uh, Microsoft has the replacement for that. Okay, so device connectivity, you have event hubs and service bus and storage. Uh, you have SQL database, uh, blob storage and document DP, document DB. Okay, these are all the storage. And analytics side, you have the machine learning stream analytics and data factory. Okay, and presentation like uh, you have the graph like Power BI for uh, for graph visualization. And notification hubs, biz talk services to talk with other business services like, or if you want to talk with uh, uh, any API service like from uh, from uh, from Amazon or Big Basket. So Amazon will will provide you a uh, will provide you a web hook. Okay, for the payment gateway, will provide you a web hook. So yeah, so this biz talk services will connect with other business uh, other businesses to uh, for endpoint management. Okay, so these are all from Microsoft Azure platform. So let's come, we have come to the end of the session. So I will ask my team to post the attendance link. So, uh, so the attendance link is there. So you could fill the attendance link now. Uh, in the meantime, I'll give you a recap of what we have gone through today. Okay. So uh, you could post the questions on the chat box. I'll go through the chat. Uh, so today we have caught up the introduction to IoT, the definition of IoT, 
okay what is the, what is iot and how why we why we need to go for an internet of things and what are the trends and what are the challenges and what are the iot architectures okay uh, and what is the iot taxonomy like we have gone through the three layer architecture and the five layer architecture and we have gone through the iot taxonomy uh, we have gone through the for computing as well as cloud computing and types of data processing like in iot the for computing architecture and the data and the cloud computing architecture the role of artificial intelligence in iot we have caught up and what is things speak and how it works and what is the aws iot and what is iot azure and how it works these are the things which we have caught up so if you have any any questions uh, uh, any questions you please put it on the chat box i will take down your questions okay uh, so i will also give you a recap of what you get on the internship okay what you get on the internship like uh, you will get uh, you will get and uh, you will get the internship certificate from ieti okay uh, you will get the recorded video access for uh, one year and the learning portal through the learning portal like you course access for one year it's not 180 days it's one year and you can download the source codes you could learn and practice more than 10 plus projects of that like 20 plus projects of that uh you get telegram discussion support okay whereas in webinar like no recorded videos no learning portal no source code and downloads okay so get it today for triple nine rupees you get four courses okay four courses like the first thing is embedded system design we cover five or four architecture five architecture here like ad51 for five days pick architecture for five days arm seven for five days uh lpc four zero double eight okay uh for five days i'll show you like i'll show you the uh I'll show you the content of what you what you get. So you just go for learn at Pantech Solutions .net. Okay. So click this. I'll show you the topics what we have caught up on the Amada System Design Masterclass. so these are the topics it's taking some time for loading okay so day one is like introduction like challenges introduction to rtos iot architecture ATP architecture introduction to kale okay how to you what you what interface sp interface and lcd interface and bluetooth control home automation using ATP one you have the lecture video you have you can download the ppt you can download the source code and you have the mindset lesson okay every day will come up with the mindset activity or uh, introduction to arm architecture and you what lcd uh, like weather monitoring systems cortex m4 architecture and interfacing led switch and buzzer you have the source code ppt download and lecture video uh, you have the uart okay you have the uart lcd temperature monitoring using lora and uh, so these are all the projects iot temperature monitoring with forest fire detection using node mcu and home automation using node mcu blink app okay you have the lecture video you have the code you have the ppt and these are all the workbooks, digital workbook for IT51, LPC2148, and LPC4088. Okay, so you get a PC design workshop. Uh, you get how to design your own IT51 board. Okay, like uh, how uh, how a PCB is manufactured. Okay, introduction to PCB design, schematic capture design, design PCB footprints. Okay, and component placement, introduction to IT51 board design. So all these things are available. Okay, you could download and you could learn on on your own stuff. Okay, so, so IoT masterclass. Okay, so IoT masterclass. I'll show you the what what you'll get on the IoT masterclass. The, the same content is already there but definitely like we will be updating the content here okay so for 28 days and you have the embedded c programming okay i'll show you the embedded c programming so all these are all these are available uh, iot master class series pc design master class series okay and four internship so this offer is available only for today and tomorrow 
I'll definitely I'll close this offer on the on tomorrow on tomorrow night around like 11 p.m. Okay, so uh, I will close this offer. So uh, I just repeat for all the 42 422 resistance. I thank you so much for the trust you had in with us. Okay, uh, for who booked the single internship for 1399. Uh, I'll be refunding you the balance 400 rupees. Um, I will ask my team to refund within tomorrow afternoon. So you will get the uh, balance 400 rupees to your account. As well as you, you will also get the four course offer, okay, embedded system design, PCB design, Internet of Things, and embedded C masterclass. You will also get this offer, and uh, masterclass of embedded C program, okay. So you will get you will get hundred days of learning. Okay, you can design your own development board, IoT product. You can you have lifetime community access, entrepreneurs coaching, uh, internship certificate from IoT Mumbai, and uh, networks. Okay, these are the things which uh, which you get. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'll take down the questions now. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let me take the questions now. Uh, yes, uh, I'll. Uh, Sri Watswa, Divi, Divi Sri Watswa is asking, can we use eight to ESP eight two double six for it? Yes, you can use. You could use ESP eight two double six. Definitely, you could use ESP double uh, six. Only the ESP thirty two cam, the camera applications like uh, the video surveillance uh, project, you cannot do. Okay. But still, you could use this ASP8266. You can you can use it for majority of the program, majority of the applications you can use. Uh, for, uh, Kingsley is asking for international students only. Please extend the payment for the internship of, offer only after uh, at least one week. Uh, Kingsley, let me check with my team. Uh, let me check. Uh, Kingsley is asking for um, uh, for one week. Uh, for one week, it's, for one week is not possible. But uh, I will check with my team if they accept. Uh, maybe like uh, I'm not sure. We may expect. We, we may extend till uh, till this uh, Sunday. Okay, we may extend till this Sunday, uh, but I'm not sure. But please don't. Uh, if you are trying to make this, uh, if you if you're able to make the payment uh, uh, payment, it's it's worth investing. And if you found this course is not valid for you, like if you found this course is not useful for you, and uh, you just send us a request, just send us a request within uh, within the, within seven days, you get a refund. Okay, you get the refund. That's there's nothing. We don't want like if you're not if you're not if you're not getting value on it, we are not sure that we don't want to take money from you. Uh, so just send send us a message within seven days of purchase. Uh, your money will be refunded because we are sure this uh, you we, no one can match our price, no one can match our values, no one can match our learnings. Like uh, because these content, uh, all these contents are the eighteen years, eighteen plus years of experience. Okay, we curated the content. And we give it to the we give the content to you. Okay, so uh, if 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 you are not if if you are not satisfied with that course, definitely we will give you your money back. Okay, so you have to do that within seven days. The only thing is you have to send us an email within seven days uh, to the learned warriors way dot in or to info at Pantax Solutions or data. Okay, you could send an email that the course is not value. So definitely we will refund. Okay, so I'll take down the questions. Okay, Dr. Sagar is midnight is midnight here in Malaysia. Uh, Raja Manikam. Okay, so majority of uh, Dr. Sagar is asking for uh, to start it early because the majority of the students are from are from India, and uh, they have we also have pre planned courses from machine learning is courses there from Sanjay, and we have course from uh, the Matla Masterclass series from at six o'clock. Uh, so the, the time is, is is 8.30 is the time, so which we cannot change at this point of time, okay? But the video is available for three days. Uh, you can go through the video later, okay? The only thing is you cannot connect us, but if you want to connect us, you can join our community, hub.worriesway.in, you can join our community, and you could send a message directly to me whenever you want to communicate, okay? Uh, 30 days of IoT masterclass is free. Uh, Vicky is asking, is that 30 days of IoT masterclass is free? Yes, it's free on YouTube, but the content will be removed after three days. Okay, you have to watch the video after three days, uh, because when we give we give everything everything for free, then it is no value. Uh, so we want to help a lot of people. Uh, we are giving it free not for one day; it's for 30 days. No one will give you free for 30 days, and not only this content, we are giving a lot of things for free for 30 days. Okay. If uh, like if there are people like who cannot afford the kind of money, uh, so in that case they can use this free content. Okay, that's one reason. Uh, but uh, if you want to like, but if you if you want the recorded access, but you want to be on time, so that's the that's the main thing. You want to be on time. You have to watch it within three days. 
So if you want at the extended support, if you want the extended support and if you want extended access for the recorded video, then it's you have to pay for triple nine rupees. That's not a big amount. It's two movie tickets, okay? The, the, it, the, it's just two movie tickets uh, which you spend, uh, uh, which you spend for entertainment, okay? But for you, uh, for for upgrading yourself, uh, for upgrading yourself, this triple nine, what the money which you spend is worth. So self investment is the best investment. Okay, before investing on others, like before investing on the share market or anything, you have to invest on yourself first. So self learning is the best investment to do. So you could you could you could decide you could go with triple nine rupees. So how to Nitya is asking how to get recorded videos. The recorded video is available for triple nine rupees for one year. Okay, it's for one year of access. You could definitely we are sure that you can learn it within one year. Okay, if you are not going to learn within one year, then definitely I'm sure you are not going to learn uh, because it's all about commitments. You have to commit and you have to learn. Okay, if you, there is no way, there is a, there is no point in giving uh, uh, like lifetime validity. We can give you lifetime validity, but the point is to learn. Okay, so in order to make you learn, if only if you have some deadline. So the previously the, this one year of this one year validity is giving. We are giving only just now. The previous classes. It's only two months or three months. We are given. We have given validity only for two months and three months of the previous classes. Uh, only now we have extended for one year. Okay. So the the objective is to make you learn. The objective is to make you learn, not to uh, like. Uh, that's that's why the limitations. If you don't have a deadline, definitely like you are not going to learn. So like you will not you will not have, you will not come into the commitment. So in order to make you in order to commit yourself, like we have reduced the time. Okay. That, so that's why one year. This answer is for Nitya. So I have a question like uh, the attendance link is there. The attendance link is there on the chat box. You could you could um, you could is there on the chat box. Okay. So I have a question. I will go through the questions. Please don't spam the chat. Please don't spam the chat. Sir, can we use Python instead of C? Yes, you could use. Ashish is asking, can you use Python for C? But this course, this course, we focus on C language. But for IoT, you could use Python. Okay, you could use Python. You could use Raspberry Pi. Instead of ESP32, you could use Raspberry Pi. You could use microcontroller. Some microcontroller supports micro Python. Some Pi, some microcontroller supports Python. So definitely, you could use Python for Internet of Things. But on this course, we follow only embedded C language. Okay, embedded C. This answer is for is also for Devansh. Okay, Devansh and for Vasish. Rita is asking for I have no knowledge on IoT. Can I continue this course? Definitely you can continue. You can start the session from scratch. No, no problem. You can start the session from uh Anand Murray is no need of any technical background. You can start from if you are in if you are basically from electronics, it, it's good. Like be electronics or be like um a like electronics communication, electrical computer science, uh, be computer science and uh, electrical electronics, okay. Anything who is who are related to electronics and if you are hobbyist, like if you want to learn Internet of Things, then definitely you can learn. Okay, so no need like uh, the college issue, the, the education which you get from college is not mandatory. Like if you have if you have willingness, if you have a mindset to learn, you can learn anything. Okay, not only this, you can learn, learn anything. What are the jobs for IoT? There are jobs that like Vinit is asking. Like what are the jobs? It is like the jobs is uh, enormous. Like you have that's what I told you about the you, there are. 50 billion devices are going to getting is, is is going to get connected. Okay, so it will replace if you go for the retail shops, uh, even it will replace the billing sessions. Okay, recently recently I check out Decathlon. Uh, like there is no billing. Uh, there is no billing now on Decathlon. Everything is done by the uh, 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 is is done by the device now. Okay, the billing session is has been replaced from device. It's uh, payment is done is done. Uh, just like a trust shop, like they build the uh, you have to you have to put it on the bucket so everything it gets scanned and it gets built automatically. Okay, uh, so uh, there is the opportunity is enormous. Definitely you will have see if you cover up IoT and uh, and uh, artificial intelligence, uh, you have you you can uh, you can write your own paycheck. Okay, you can write your own paycheck like the opportunity is in Gallo. Okay. So can we use SQL for accessing? Uh, yes, SQL like yes, SQL is needed, but Apart from SQL, like if you want to develop an application, you also need other stuffs like JavaScript, and you should you should be aware of the platforms IoT Amazon platform, and how to configure this platform, how and how to send data from the device and everything. Okay. So any questions, you just put it on the chat box. 
uh, Rohit, please check the right link. Uh, Rohit is, uh, is telling that uh, one three double nine. Let me check the link here for you. Rohit is no. Uh, Rohit, like the, the you please check the link which is pinned on the top. So it is asking only triple nine rupees. Okay, this answer is for Rohit. Ayush is asking, the one year validity is for all the four courses, okay, for all the four courses. Ayush, this answer is for Ayush. Sanjay is asking for any placement assist. See, uh, we have a lot of patchers on our community, okay, we have a lot of patchers on our community. All you have to do is you have to market yourself. We can make you fit, we can make you fit uh, for getting a job, we can give you the mindset training so that you could earn a lot of money, okay, once you are... Once you fix your mind, you can do anything. Okay, we, because the you cannot compare your mind with anything. Or like anything on this planet is created on the mind first. Okay, so we have the mindset coaching series. So where you can do, where you can market yourself. So we have a soft skill program, uh, LinkedIn mastery program to 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 improve your LinkedIn skills, resume building pro uh, resume building skills. We have a program on resume building. You have to join the community first. Okay, the, the, on the community platform, everything is free. On Zoom platform, the only thing is. You have to, uh, the only thing is you just go through the, go to the community and you have to check for the events. Okay. Check for the events. But I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you the events. Okay. You check for the, you this, this is the event which is, which is going to happen on Saturday, Jan 11 is on LinkedIn on 7 PM. Okay. So he will teach, Prasad will teach about how to improve your LinkedIn profile and how to market your LinkedIn. Okay. LinkedIn profile to the markets. Uh, so, uh, and this session two is also in LinkedIn on June 18 is also LinkedIn. So he's covering up this course on for three days. So the, the charge is 499 rupees on outside the community. Okay. Inside the community it is free. It is on zoom platform inside the community is free. And apart from this, you also have sessions like hackathon sessions and you make a project and you make a video and tag me like I'll reshare on my, uh, I will reshare on my LinkedIn wall. It's okay. So I'll show you my LinkedIn page. So I have around like 2000 plus, uh, HR managers on my, uh, uh, on my, uh, LinkedIn community. Okay. So I'll also share my LinkedIn link. If you want to connect with me, you can also connect me. Okay. I have shared with you. Okay. So this answer is for this answer is for Sanjay, and uh, Tripoli yes, uh, Tripoli you can uh, you can you can you can use um, IoT because for motor control if you want to uh, fault analysis fault diagnosis analysis okay so I have around uh, uh, twenty nine followers so twenty nine thousand followers like out of this my network has around like two thousand uh, two thousand plus hatchers I have connections like nineteen thousand connections I have out of nineteen thousand connections. Uh, let me check for the search with filters like the Hatchers. So I have around 2000, I will show you like, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you later. Like I have around 2000 plus Hatchers. Okay. I'll share you the screenshots. I have 2000 plus Hatchers on my network. So you, you, you make a video on, on the project, reshare on my wall. Okay. I'll, I'll reshare on the wall. So you will get notified, noticed by, uh, noticed by the Hatchers. There are a lot of students like uh, who got offer through the uh, network through the through the network. So don't underestimate uh, on LinkedIn. Okay, so LinkedIn pro, link, you can get jobs. Uh, you can get more job offers through LinkedIn platform. And we also have a resume building course like uh, which we connect on community like where we teach uh, how to uh, how to uh, make resumes for uh, for uh, for ATS tracking systems. Okay, uh, for ATS tracking systems, how to so so you all you have to do is go through the event and check for the events so this will get updated for every week okay and like you can attend this event you just click this event and you will have a zoom link okay you'll have a zoom link and uh, and you can register for this event okay so is there any questions you put it on the chat box any hardware we should purchase yes you have to purchase esp32 uh, and esp32 cam and the dhd level sensor and uh, and a relay module okay relay module that's enough uh, relay mode if you enough if you want like you can also purchase soil moisture sensor the soil moisture sensor uh, the relay module and dhd 11 sensors okay so that's enough that's enough and esp32 cam esp32 cam uh, with camera with camera you have to purchase so i'll also send you the list of components which is required for this uh, course 
Linux good for IoT programming. Um, they they want sh sing me is Linux is asking like is is Linux uh, good for IoT programming? Uh, honestly, like uh, I have not used Linux. Like I have not used the uh, I have used the RTOS platform. Uh, Autos. I have worked on Autos. Uh, I I'm not into Linux. We have a separate team for Linux. I'm not able to comment on this. Uh, they want sing me. Okay, I'm not able to comment. Have knowledge on any of the programming? Can I can continue the course? Yes, you can continue. Suman Singh, this answers for Suman Singh. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, is there? Thank you so much. If you have any questions, any questions, any questions, you please put it on the chat box. Can we automate it through Jenkins? Yes, Jent, Jent. Yes, you can automate. See, there are a lot of tools. Like you can also use uh, Microsoft Power Automate. Okay, you can also use Jenkins, and there are a lot of automation tools are not available. You can also use Zapier. Okay, Zapier is it's a paid tool, but uh, uh, Power Automate. Uh, you can use. Uh, you can use um, Microsoft Power Automate, and you can use um, uh, the other automation like Zapier. Pabli is there. Okay. Uh, you can also use Python for automation. Okay, you can also use Python for automation, like business automations or for uh, sending emails and sending SMS notifications based on some sensor values. Everything can be done. Okay, can be done. Okay, is there any questions? Any questions else? Uh, Mihir asking. Mihir is asking for sir, which book you prefer for IoT? Uh, honestly, like uh, I have not at this point. I don't know like what book to suggest you. Uh, suggest you but i'll check and I'll, any any hall any any hall check for this but but definitely this the content what you what you're going to get from this course is uh definitely you will you will learn a lot of things here okay so i will send you this i will send you the link you can purchase online okay five fitting robot and less security system. so thank you so much uh thank you so much what is the id id stands for integrated development environment so Okay, what is IoT Azure? Okay, so thank you so much uh, for your time. I'll see you on the next session tomorrow. Until then, bye bye. Take care. I'm signing off. Uh...